Business owners who thought the Supreme Court would clarify their new responsibilities about health coverage for their employees were wrong. So other than repeal of Obamacare, is there a health plan for businesses that could simplify, maybe even lower the costs of doing business, making it easier for business people to hire? John Goodman is president of the National Center for Policy Analysis. He says he has such a plan, and he joins me now. Well, John, I know there are a whole lot of political... Let's stay away from the political stuff and focus on business, because businesses want to know how to plan for the future. You think you have a, a, a method, a blueprint, if you will, for such a plan. Ex describe what it is. Well, we start with tax fairness, which means that everybody needs to be treated the same under the tax law. So wherever you get your health insurance, whether it's through an employer or on your own or in the marketplace or in a health insurance exchange, the government would give everybody the same tax break. Uh, we could probably give a tax credit of $2,500 for an adult or $8,000 for a family, but we need to do the same thing for every family. Now, what about the small businesses uh, that right now don't provide, particularly restaurants and things like that, that are minimum wage hires and they don't, they don't offer health insurance under the new plan? Of course, they'll either have to offer insurance, uh, which, which they can't do, they don't have the money to do it, or pay a fine and, and pass their employees over to the government. Does, does your plan affect those people at all? Well, certainly, and, and what I'm suggesting is that we have a generous tax credit of $2,500 for each of those workers. If the, work, if the family of four, it will be $8,000. It could come through the place of work, or the worker could get it on his own. And the other thing I would do is make insurance portable, so the employee would be able to get a plan that he takes with him from job to job and in and out of the labor market, so you don't lose your health insurance when you change jobs. Now, isn't that COBRA? Isn't that what COBRA's already doing? No, COBRA just allows you to stay on your employer's plan for about 18 months and then you eventually lose it. I'm talking about insurance that you own and, and that goes with you to the next job. So, and so by, giving, by giving employees a sense of ownership over their health plan, they'd be more careful about exactly how to, how to deal with that health plan. That's right, and also they wouldn't have this problem of pre-existing conditions, and uh, your listeners may not be aware of this, but practically every state in the union has made this illegal. It's Ill the employer can buy group insurance, but not individual insurance. We need to turn that around. Well, is anybody listening to you, John? I mean, you've got a, you're, you're in Texas, you've got a lot of, lot of connections in the heartland among, among state governments and even among uh, some, some national contenders. Who's, who's taking your plan to heart? Well, the other think tanks, right of center think tanks like this idea, and the Congressional Health Care Caucus has put it up at their website. So we have some interest. I, I have to be honest, mainly the Republicans just want to run against Obamacare. They really don't want to talk about how to replace it. But yeah. eventually, if they regain power, we're going to need a replacement strategy. Well, for all those saying there is no replacement, John Goodman is here to tell you he has one. So folks, listen to him, whether you're a Democrat or Republican. This is a guy with a plan. John Goodman, president of the National Center for Policy Analysis. Great to see you, John. Thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. Thank you, David. Glad to be with you.